All right, all right. Welcome to All Life Mass TV. My name is Jakes Anemo. And here we learn mathematics every day. Now, we have a challenge on the board. But before we go into today's challenge, if you are new to this channel, kindly subscribe. And when you subscribe, turn on the bell notification button so that YouTube can notify you whenever we drop a wonderful video like the one you're about to watch right now. Now, let's go to uh, the question or the challenge for today. It says, evaluate the square root of 11 to the power of 4 plus 100 to the power of 4 plus 111 to the power of 4 all over 2. The number one thing is to take down our question. So selection, let's put down our question selection. We write the question down. The question reads, we have 11 to the power of 4 plus 100 to the power of 4 plus 111 to the power of 4 all over 2. Now, if we look at this carefully, you discover that we can split this 111 to 11 and 100. Okay, so if we do that, we're going to have this to be yeah, the square root of 11 to the power of 4 plus 100 to the power of 4 plus bracket open 11 plus 100 all to the power of 4 everything all over two good now at this point we have to bring in two alphabet to represent uh, what we have in yena okay we chose a particular alphabet for 11 and another for 100 if we go by that there let's say here let let's say let x equal to um 11 then y equal to our 100 so wherever we see 11 will put down x and wherever we see uh, 100 will put y into it and so we can rewrite this expression the whole of this expression should be here we have our x to the power of 4 plus our y to the power of 4 plus bracket in x plus y r to the power of 4 everything all over 2 okay so from here Let's proceed and see what this gives us. At this point, I'm going to uh, apply the binomial theorem to um, simplify this. Let's go ahead and bring out our Pascal diagram. Triangle, we have 1, 1, 2, 1, 1, 3, 3, 1, the 1, 4, 6, 4, 1. So we're considering the uh, fourth uh, power, okay? So if we go ahead to write this, this expression will now give us x plus y to the power of 4 is equal to, we're going to have our x to the power of 4, there, plus 4, x to the power of 3, y plus 6, x to the power of 2, y to the power of 2, plus 4, x, then y to the power of 3, plus y to the power of 4. Okay. Now, we can now replace this. Now, what do we have in here now with the whole of this? And so this, our expression here, we now become the square root of x to the power of 4, plus y to the power of 4, plus everything here, which is s to the power of 4, plus 4, s to the power of 3, 3, uh, y, plus 6, x squared, y squared, plus 4, x, y to the power of 3, plus y to the power of 4. Okay. All over 2. Okay. Now, the thing is a bit technical, but uh, let's go on. We'll, we'll get there. All right. We are having s to the power of 4 here. We are having s to the power of 4. y to the power of 4, y to the power of 4. So if we go ahead to add up this, we are going to have this to be our 2s to the power of 4 plus 2y to the power of 4 plus, yeah, we have 4x to the power of 3y plus 6x squared, y squared, 
plus 4xy to the power of 3, okay? The everything all over 2. All right. So let's go on again. We now look at this carefully. You discover that 2 is common here, 2 is common here, 2 is common here, 2 is common here, 2 is common here. And we have 2 at the denominator. So let's factor out 2 from this expression. So if we do that, we're going to have this to be your 2 bracket. We are left here, x to the power of 4 plus y to the power of 4 plus 2x to the power of 3y plus 3x squared y squared plus 2 x y to the power of 3 close bracket everything all over 2 and so these 2 we go with these 2 all right we look at our expression here look at this x to the power of 4 and y to the power of 4 can also be rewritten as according to the law of indices which says um if you have a to the power of m bracket n this is equals to a to the power of m n okay so if we succumb to this rule here then we can rewrite these two expressions here now okay now this will now give us the square root the square root of x to the power of 2 or to the power of 2 plus y to the power of 2 or to the power of 2 plus 2x to the power of 3y plus 3x squared y squared plus, um, let's erase this, okay, plus 2xy to the power of 3. Okay, now we look at this again. Here we are having to the power of 2 to the power of 2, and we are having this to the power of 2. So we can split this 3x squared y squared to uh in this form or we can rewrite this to give us here you have a 2x squared y squared plus x squared y squared so we can replace the whole of this with this okay so if we do that then we are going to have our expression to be let's take this down we're going to have this to be x squared y squared plus y squared uh, to the power of 2, okay, plus 2x squared y squared plus, let's bring this term now, 2x cubed y plus, let's bring this 2xy cubed plus, x squared y squared okay good so let's continue from here all right all right now if you look at this expression now from here let's look at this together this expression we have in here now we can bring out our an algebraic identity from this recall the identity which says that if you have x plus y equal to or square rather equal to your x square plus 2xy plus y square. If you look at this, if you look at this expression, this one is also like this. Okay, if you are confused, let me rewrite this by putting this into the, the, the middle in between this and this. So that you see the beauty of what I'm saying now. So this is same thing as your x squared bracket bracket squared plus what we have here now can also be written as 2 bracket x y r squared. Okay, then plus your uh, y squared all into the power of squared plus. The other terms we have here, 2x to the power of 3, okay, to the power of 3, the y plus 2y to the power of 3, the plus x squared y squared. 
let's extend our bracket okay so if you now look at this what we have here now is same thing what we have here now and so we can rewrite from here down to this place in this form so if we do that we're going to have this to be our x squared plus y squared all squared okay there plus 2x to the power of 3y plus 2y to the power of um, 3 uh, sorry plus a uh, uh, 2x okay sorry i missed out x here yeah, please here yeah, we have x y to the power of 3 okay to the power of 3 okay so same thing we're going to have here please all right x y to the power of 3 plus x squared y squared okay good now we now take a good look at this again something is common to these two expressions here now this something is common to them 2xy is common so let's bring out 2xy and so if we do that we're going to have this to be bracket x squared plus y squared r squared plus 2xy if we use this to divide this we are going to be left with x squared plus yeah we're going to be left with y squared close bracket plus yeah we can rewrite this again as x y r squared all right we now look at this carefully again if you take a good look at this if we go back to our expression our special identity we see that x plus y close bracket squared equals your x squared plus 2xy plus y squared if you look at this what everything you have in yena is what we have in yena playing out <laughs> okay so we consider the whole of dix the whole of dix expression yena to be x then the whole of uh, this to be y so if we take this to be x we take the whole of this to be uh, y and so everything we are having here is what we have here now so let's rewrite the whole of this in this form if we go ahead to rewrite this we're going to have this to be the square root of yeah we're going to have yeah, x squared plus y squared plus x y r squared very easy okay just look at it carefully let's erase this off so everything everything we have here now considering this algebraic identity will give us everything here very simple and so at this point here we're going to have this square root we go with this square here and so we have our expression to be your x squared plus y squared plus x y and recall we said that let recall we said x is equal to uh, uh what we say we said is equal to 11 and y is equal to uh, 100 so if we go ahead to substitute for this we're going to have our x squared plus y squared plus x y equal to we have 11 squared plus 100 squared plus um 11 times 100 if we go ahead to do this then we're going to have here to be one two one plus 100 square will give us one zero zero four which is ten thousand plus if we multiply this we're going to have eleven zero zero all right so let's go ahead to add everything together if we go with the first digit we're going to have this to be one second digit here we have zero zero here we have two there the third digit one and zero there 
of one to give us two. There, the fourth digit, which is one, and uh, fourth one, zero, which is one. So we have one. And uh, the fifth digit here is one. So we have dex. All right. So the answer is uh, 11,221 from the uh, our, our uh, question. Okay. So this might be the end of this uh, sh little challenge. If you have learned something good from this challenge, drop a comment in the comment section. And also, if you have any question with regards to uh, this uh, uh, challenge, drop your question in the comment section also. If you love what is going on here, give the video uh, a thumbs up, okay? And do not hesitate also to share with uh, family or friends members uh, who need this. So the person who dropped this uh, uh, mathematical challenge, I want to believe you or last something from this, but if you are not clear with uh, the explanation, also drop it in the comment section so that I, I work on the second method or third method of uh, doing this, okay? Because we can equally use other method to simplify uh, this uh, uh, challenge, all right? So drop a comment, leave a comment in the comment section so that I get your view and uh, know what to do next, okay? Thanks for always being there. My name is Jigs Animo. Remember, Jake's loves you so much and all of us at All Lime TV love you so much because you are always there. Bye for now.